clicked on the video because he wanted some heavy rain. There you go. It's absolutely pouring down. Bucketing rain. This is crazy. Hey everybody, welcome back. Been walking for two and a half hours in the heavy rain and it hasn't stopped yet. I've made it up to the top so I just filled up my water bottles. But I gotta get up to camp quick because the weather's just coming in. Low visibility and it's freezing cold up here. And I have a new ultralight tent which keep my pack weight down to 15 kilo or only 35 pounds. So got up here quick but I'm just drenched. But I'll head over to camp and I'll come back, sit up and I'll show you this awesome tent. Made it into camp. You know this spot, I've camped here a few times. I'm not gonna camp in the puddle like I did in the last storm video. I'll set the tent up here. But the rain's coming in pretty good now. It's always raining up here. And I'm always drenched from here. But I'll get my pack off and I'll set the tent up. So for this tent, I brought a ground sheet just because it's got such a lightweight floor. This thing only weighs 60 grams, so I'll peg this out and I'll put the tent on. I can pitch it fly first, so it doesn't matter if it's raining. So I get the tent set up and then I can put the tarp up over the tent. So this is a trekking pole tent. I don't have trekking poles with me. So I've got these little carbon fiber supports, which only weigh like 50 grams. So these support the structure of the tent. There's no poles. Rain's coming in heavy, guys. Better get this tent up quick. That's a pretty decent pitch. As you can see, it's got quite a strange geometry. This little pole here pulls the foot end of the tent out and the two trekking poles are sitting back further in the tent, so when you sit up, you've got good headroom. But it's pretty nice and taut, so I think I'll get the tarp up over the tent now so I can sit out and get a brew on. I might try and configure this a bit differently and use this stick to support the top of the tarp and pull it down a bit more over that way. Right, it's pretty good. We'll do for now. Welcome to inside the Z-Pax Offset Duo. I've got my sleeping pad here. I'm gonna set that up, get the quilt lofting up, get everything inside the tent sorted out. But look at all the space in here. It's a massive tent. There's so much room. Finally, set up. In my pursuit to keep my pack weight down on this trip, I also have a new stove. I've got a little fire maple canister stove. It only weighs 40 grams. The tiny little thing that attaches right on the top. I'll place my titanium mug right on it and boil my water. Also, the tent, 550 grams. So we have a pretty ultralight setup, minus a few pieces of gear which I'll swap out. Was it worth it? Well, yeah, I think so. The walk up here is brutal. 
and I managed to do it in like 30 yeah. minutes less and I feel pretty good so I'm up here with my ultralight set up the rain's coming down pretty nice but there's no wind which is perfect so I'm gonna enjoy this cup of coffee and then I think after that I'll collect some wood and get a little fire going but it's quite nice to be up here pretty cool having this new tent let me know what you think of its appearance in the comments This is some heavy rain. It was forecast to rain pretty heavy, but this has been persistent. Hopefully the tent doesn't leak. I think it should be fine, even though there's water pouring all over it. It is a waterproof tent. But it just freaks me out, because I haven't used something like this before. But I guess I should probably go get some firewood and get soaked. This is my weapon of choice. All right, this should be enough. I'm tired after that. I can't film down in the bush grabbing and cutting the wood because it's just too dense. But I'll process this up. There's heaps to cut. And we'll get a fire going, I think. But I'm so drenched. Still raining, but not deluge level. fire about here out from the tarp don't want to burn my tent and my tarp so I'll organize all this wood and I'll break up the sticks and then we'll get this thing lit try to light this now the wood is extremely wet so I don't have high hopes for this you got to do what you got to do when you have crappy wood the wind is kind of swirling around so I'm I'm not even sure which direction it's coming from so I gotta be careful that I don't get the flames too high because I am pretty close to the tent and the tarp I think I got it. I think we got some burning going on in there. You can just see the smoke blowing around and around. Absolutely no idea whew, where the wind comes from.
Во. I think I have redemption at the pig pen. I'll put in the description the video where I camped here and it was an absolute disaster. I was in this big puddle. So I wanted to come back and do a camp where things didn't go disastrously wrong. And I think I've achieved that. Everything's set up. Fire's probably going now. Been good weather. I'm starting to dry off and get warm. So I get changed into my clothes. Get all dry and warm and clean. I'll come back to you guys. The temperature's really dropped. It's about 5.30 in the evening. And the fire, it's putting out great heat. But I had to put my puffer jacket on. Got my rain jacket over top to cut the wind coming through. But it looks like the rain's cleared up. I think there might be a little bit more coming through later, but all is well. I'm just having a cup of tea. I'm putting out some amazing heat now. The fire's cranking, going really good. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit, and then I think I'll wait for the embers to die down a bit, and then I'm gonna cook dinner on the fire. I've got some new burger patties. And I've got mozzarella cheese they're going to put on them. So it should be very nice. But got to wait for this to just die right down. All right, everyone. Dinner time. I'm going to cook over the fire. And as you can hear, the winds have come right up. Whew. Which is kind of stressing me out because I don't want embers to hit the tent. This should get super hot. And I'll just cook my burgers like that. Get a bit of olive oil in there. Heaps, why not? And we have the same burgers, or the same brand, as the other camps, but these are slightly different ones. You probably noticed in the last couple of videos I've been using the fire to cook, and I'm actually starting to really enjoy it. This little titanium pan. Whoa. Stormy. Rain's coming in, I think. Anyway, this titanium pan is quite a lot lighter than my other one. So I can save on weight and bring this. This fire is so hot. Almost burning my hands, just getting them near it. Looks like a bit of rain's come back as well. Okay, I think these are done. I made a crucial error, I didn't bring my plate. So it's gonna be quite tricky to serve them up, but I think we'll be fine. It's way too hot. I've got the brioche buns, as you'd expect. Might have to dish them up on here. Oh man, there's three layers of mozzarella cheese. It's gonna be so nice and creamy. I've got Heinz. Okay, here's the first one. Look at that, three layer mozzarella. Yeah, baby. So these burgers are different. Still from First Light Farms, they're Wagyu, but they've got a bit of venison and bacon in them. Oh, that's good, man. They taste a little bit different. A little bit more kind of tangy. Must be the smoky bacon. Look at that burger. The three layer mozzarella. Mm. 
You can taste it. It's like creamy. It's been a hard day. I walked up here so fast compared to what I normally do. I was like half an hour quicker. It's a thousand meters straight up. I just smashed it out non-stop. But I really do think shedding like three or four kilos, which is what, nine, ten pounds off my pack weight. It actually made quite a considerable difference. So I reckon I, I, I could try lose a bit more weight to the pack and it'll be even better. Mm. But I'm always trying to improve my gear and optimize the setup. I think this tent looks pretty cool too. It's going to be interesting to see what it's like to sleep in it. But it looks pretty good and it's so spacious. I think I've found redemption on this camp. I've defeated the pig pen. I affectionately call this spot the grotto. It's like my little grotto down off the tussocks. So I think mission accomplished. Ah, sauce is dripping on me. I love burgers, they're my favourite food. Sorry for eating with my mouth though. Anyway, I'm gonna finish these and I'll come back to you guys for a hot chocolate I think, then the tent tour. But smash the thumbs up, subscribe, do all the stuff for the burgers. Not for me, for the burgers. Well, this is quite nice. Nice steady rain, not too much wind. Delicious burgers. I'm just chilling at camp. Wow. The rain has really come back. I didn't think I was going to get this much. But I'm perfectly set up. So I'm 100% dry under here. I like this configuration out to that tree, the tent there, fire here. It's like a perfect little setup. I have the view out to the misty forest. This is proper camping. Oh, and I've got a nice mint hot chocolate to cleanse the palate. And the fire is still roaring. Oh, I'm really looking forward to getting into the tent tonight and testing it out. It's that new tent feeling. If you guys go camping yourself and you like gear, yeah, you would know. When you get a new tent, it's a great experience when you go out in it for the first time. And I mean, look at it. I think this tent. It's a pretty sexy looking tent. It's unusual with that little pull out thing at the front, but it looks quite nice. I was skeptical whether or not the color would look good on camera, but I think it does. It's called the Offset Duo from z -Packs, and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go through, check out their gear. They do a whole lot of ultra light stuff, but I've just got the tent. I might get their backpack too, apparently that's really good. I'll save like two kilos, four pounds, just on the backpack. So that's a must. But I'm gonna enjoy this hot chocolate. And listen to the rain. Just enjoy being out here. Running low on water, so I'm going to head to the tarn 
fill up my water bottle and the rain has eased and the clouds getting pushed away but look at this this is just absolutely incredible this is turning into a spectacular camping experience look at the light behind me it's amazing up here this is why I come up here it's worth all the pain to come up for this glorious absolutely beautiful I'll show you some shots It doesn't get any better than this. This is why we come up for moments like this. The pinnacle of camping. I'm getting water all over the lens. Still raining a bit. I better get back down to camp, make sure the fire's all right. And it's, there's a wind chill up here. It's absolutely freezing. Lucky I got my full RAV jacket on, otherwise it would be miserable, wish I had some gloves with me. I'll tell you what, that sunset and the changing light in the clouds and you could see little beams coming through and the misty rain and everything, that was incredible. I hope the camera does it justice and you're sitting there watching it, you can actually get a feel for how just amazing this location is. New Zealand. It's a spectacular place and up here this is one of the most beautiful remote areas hardly anyone even comes up here it's, it's amazing Whoa, bit of smoke coming through from the fire. It's still going, it's still real hot, but it's completely surrounded in mud, so there's no risk of it spreading around. I'll leave it burning, and I'll just watch it from inside the tent. But I've got a bit of a pig pen going on right down in front of me here. And it's very spongy ground, but the Dyneema floor on this tent is super waterproof, so none of it's coming through. Welcome to my humble abode. This tent is massive. The amount of internal volume inside of this thing is incredible considering its weight. 550 grams, I think that's 19 ounces or something. Literally, so much room. And look, there's no, it's a single wall tent, so that's the fly. There's no second barrier. So if it's quite unusual for me, all the tents that I usually have in camp and they're all double walled and they have their own self-supporting trekking poles. I mean, pole structure. But these just use these little things. You can see here, little carbon fiber pieces. And the whole thing's just so light. It's such a highly refined piece of gear. And I got so much room, like I'll lie down. It's my little Cedar Summit pillow. And I'm lying here like this. It's crazy. So yeah, that's inside the tent. The Z-Pax Offset Duo. I'm loving it so far. I can't wait to take it out on some big treks and get to use it some more. It's not really designed for this type of trip. Heavy rain and kind of sitting up in the mud. But it handled it quite well. So like I said before, there'll be a link in the description so you can check out Z-Packs and get yourself one of these tents if you can. They are quite expensive, but 
I mean, that's just the reality of getting high performance gear. But look, I'm sitting up in it. It's incredible. Like, I got unlimited headroom. Like, I'm on my pad, fully sitting up. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's got two doors as well. There's another vestibule there. But I'm just going to relax, watch my fire back there. You can see it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And yeah, don't think there'll be any more rain. And it should be a nice fine morning. I got some waffles. I'm going to have heaps of coffees. And then I'm just going to get the hell out of here. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully I have sweet dreams. And I'll give my thoughts after sleeping in this tent in the morning. But that's enough from me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning everybody, it's a good day for the race. What race you may ask? Well, the human race. That was a pretty chilly night, you can see my breath. I just went for a walk out to the tussocks and there's ice all over the tussocks. There's ice in the little puddles as well. It's a very still and cold morning. But one thing that is very nice there was a fire. There was enough embers left in it that I could just move the sticks around, give it a little bit of oxygen, and now it's in a roaring blaze. So I've got a morning fire on this freezing still morning, which is, you know, it's like a perfect scenario. The tent performed well. Um, I had to do an emergency puffer jacket application in the middle of the night because the temperature just plummeted. Uh, but yeah, the tent doesn't retain much heat, but that's the point. It's supposed to have airflow. So I had to rely on the quilt and the jacket to keep me warm, which it did. Had a pretty good sleep, and there's just a ton of space in here. So I think it's time I get a brew on. I'll probably have a brew from bed, then a brew from chair, then maybe another brew from chair. But this camp's just getting better and better. We're going for the cappuccino mocha. Then I think we'll be on to the coffee bag. Waking up to a still morning. A dry, windless, still morning. Is very, very nice for a change. I'll tell you what. Cheers everyone, morning brew. I'm having Jed's coffee bags. Uh, I wouldn't write home about them. They taste okay. I mean, they do the job, they taste like coffee. And they do mean that I can just take this titanium cup and the little stove and just do an ultra light tiny system like that. I've actually quite enjoyed the simplicity of this camp, not taking as much stuff. It's quite nice, you know? Mixing it up, mixing up the gear. It's kind of what keeps it interesting. It's one component of it anyway. I really do think the tent is a winner. It does have its limitations, but you can work around them. And for the benefit you get, 
having the ultra ultra lightweight setup and the super space inside i think it could be worth it one thing to mention though it is 650 grams not 550 because i have the if you see the color of it it's actually um it's kind of green it's thicker gauge dyneema i think it's 0.7 versus 0.55 or something so it weighs slightly more but it's slightly more durable and it's slightly more colored but still like weight 650 grams nothing fancy today no cooking bacon and eggs keeping it exceedingly simple i'll show you these these are new zealand made waffles so i've got three of them and i just like eating them cold i don't even like heating them up so i can have these with the coffee they go down a treat Yeah, I like them just like that. While sipping on this. These will give me the energy to run back down the mountain. Yeah. It's about two hours down and three hours up. But, yeah, I was super fast this time. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy these. Carry on drying myself out by the fire. And I suppose it's time to do a quick pack up. Everything will fit into the pack real easy. Because I don't have an overloaded pack this time. And then I'll show you some of the walk out, the beautiful scenery, the morning vistas. And then I guess it's back to the car, but... I'll come back to you when I'm on the trail, I think. That was pretty easy. What a morning. Pack down was pretty good. Packing that tent up, it's quite easy. You just fold it up, slot it into the bag and it's done. Doesn't hold any water either, which is nice. But back across the tussock fields they go, and then into the bush. Feeling pretty good. Those waffles powered me out. Oh, it's such a lovely morning though. It's going to be quite a pleasant walk out. Pretty much blue skies. A few, a few clouds down in the valley. Slight cloud inversion. But what's the walk? It's yeah, about two hours. I get back to the car. And I got a ginger beer on the car, which is going to be real nice. I'm back up on the track now. It's just so nice up here. But yeah, yeah, I think I think that was like a ten out of ten camp, to be honest. Had everything I wanted. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Ooh. Look at that. There's ice on the tarn. There was ice on my tarp when I was packing it up too. Freezing, man. It's back into the forest. Begin the journey along the ridge. Ooh, that was the fastest trip down I've ever done. Just down at the great, whoa, the devastation. Wash my face in the river. 
felt amazing. It's about 10, 15 minutes back to the car from here. And then I've got my ginger beer. Came down from way up there. Now we're down in the valley on the riverbed. That was a good walk. Streams looking pretty clear. Not too murky. Oh, but man, this is a nice day. Stunning day. Made it back. Back at the wagon. Whew. Man, what a trip. That was a good one. Actually, that was like the perfect camping experience for me. I really enjoyed that. Everything perfect. Hopefully it makes a good video and you guys enjoy it too. But you know, that about sums up the experience that I like. Nice crisp rain, good fire, good food. But I get the pack off, get into the car, grab my ginger beer, say goodbye. Check this out. Got a ginger beer. I'm gonna have this and then do the drive home, but I just wanna say thank you to everybody who watches the vids, subscribes, likes, comments, and a special thanks to the members. Really appreciate you guys, and I really, I hope that these videos bring you some entertainment, you learn something. We're just like hanging out, coming on the camping trips, but I'm loving it, and I'll carry on going, so. So something about getting out into the mountains and camping and eating food and making videos, it's fun. So I'm going to have this and slowly drive back, but that's enough from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.